sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, guess who? This is Alex and this is The Ramble and we go until midnight tonight here on the east coast of the United States. Yes, here we are in New York City coming to you from Harlem. Uh, and uh, look at me, look at the bags under my eyes, see that? See those bags, those horrible bags, they uh, get even worse when the, the, uh, uh, my allergies have just been horrible so if during the night you see me do this it's just because i'm trying to cool them down then i put ice on the bags before we went on hoping that it would kind of help but anyway hey listen uh it's uh it's uh, tuesday i almost didn't do a show tonight but then i decided uh what the hell you know uh, but I may not. Uh, I may un- undo doing a show some, yeah, maybe one day this week. Cause I don't know. I'm just really tired, and my uh, the, the 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 hay fever, the allergies are just acting up. Yeah, White, have you ever try Flonase? What? Flonase. I see it advertised on TV. They say it's uh, good to just take every day. Uh, you squirt a little bit in your nose, and uh, okay, you, you have it. Does it help? No. All right, so they lied again on TV. Well, actually, this is Allerflow. Oh. What, what, it's the same thing, though. It's the same exact thing. It's, uh, yeah. I forget what the name of it, a fluticozone or something it's called. And it's the same thing, as, as, uh, uh, but it, it's from Costco, and you get five of these for 25 bucks. Well, the guys on TV seem so and, happy and, with and, Flonase. And, and Flonase, do you know how much it costs? Probably one bottle? One. No, no, one bottle, generic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, $35. Wow. And I I tried it once, and uh, it's it smells the same as this. In yeah. fact, this the generic that I used to get from my doctor uh, was this. So... You know, all right. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really work. You know, it, I think it worked for the first year that I used it, but then you get an immunity towards it. You know, I see. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, you've got white privilege, huh? Yeah, it looks that way. I was going to get ready to take it off, and as soon as you uh, opened it up, yeah, uh, it um, uh, the thing that allowed me to take it take it off and put something else there uh, vanish but now i'm i'm ready uh but I, I figured okay you know yeah white privilege I, I saw that and i said that that's a good one do you like the white privilege huh yeah well i like it almost as much as uh kamala harris uh you know shaking uh the president of south korea's hand and then going ugh, ugh. <laughs> wiping it all over did she do did that yeah, yeah. Well, it might it have been, a, well, it might have been because of COVID, though. Not, well, that's, of course, what they're saying. But, yeah. uh, the, the, you know, the, he's been vaccinated. She's been vaccinated. Hey, and, listen, why, as long as we're here tonight being copacetic. Wear huh? Wear a mask? No, no, no. I, I, say, say something nice about Kamala Harris. Say something nice about Biden. Come on. You know, it's a little too early to get on their case. I don't think so. They, well, he's only been president in what three months, something like that. Three months too long. Hmm. Uh, that's okay. Let him let him have his presidency. He stole it fair and square, and uh, you know I'll. You don't I'll, believe it was stolen, do you? Uh, there were some shenanigans, and nobody wanted to look into it. If if if, if you know our system of uh, hey, hey of look, elect- to begin with, the Democrats aren't very good at shenanigans. Okay, uh, they're no, really not very good at shenanigans. There were some people that hated Trump so much; they were good at shenanigans. You know, I mean, but, you you you, you uh, so you, you believe that what they're doing in Arizona isn't uh, insanity? 
No, I well, mean, if, insanity I, is is doing the same thing over and over again, hoping to get a different result. Yeah, I, I know. I was going to put mine up too. <laughs> uh, you should. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's Tony's famous wallpaper, ladies and gentlemen. The the uh, standard for all wallpaper on this sh on this show. Uh, yeah. Well, my <laughs> my joke uh, last week was to have everybody. I gave it to everybody. Uh, and I even called in some people that didn't call uh, much anymore, gave them the wallpaper, told them how to do it. And I got to admit that Charlie Wallace, he worked hard. Two days of trying to get that wallpaper to show up. That's a man that does not give up. I'm very impressed by Charlie and his, uh, his uh, really? uh, ability to really just uh, uh, push the envelope and not give up. Uh, he didn't want to give up. You know, really? and okay. that's that's the sign of somebody that's uh, that's a good, uh, you know, uh, a good fighter and a good. Uh, yeah. Uh, success. Yeah. But anyway, getting back to uh, your divine hatred of Biden just because he won, you know, well, he, he may have won, but I'm also paying four forty nine a gallon for gas regular. Yeah, that's his fault. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. And, that has uh, that had nothing to do. He, that had nothing to do with the Russians hacking uh, Continental. No, uh, it was going up before then. You know, it, it was it was uh, mm -hmm. two thirds the price under Trump. Well, it has something to do with California because out here it's a lot cheaper. Yeah, but it, it's still it's still the average price of gasoline, and I know this. Doesn't what could he have possibly done in three months to make the price of gasoline go up? He could have done the windshield and checked the oil. No, no, but what could he have possibly done to, to cause... Uh, can't we blame that on Trump since, you know, really, it's something that probably happened in the last administration or in the waning days of the last administration. I don't think so. Oh, you don't uh, think so? No, and, you know, and then the stuff that's going on at the border, uh, you know, I'm having to pay higher price uh, uh, on my trip uh, this week uh, to... Uh, to stay in a hotel and and the you know the best hotel in Pahrump, nevada mm -hmm. is the holiday inn uh, yeah that that's 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 it that's that's the uh, uh, uh top top of the line so uh, you oh so you're gonna be away next weekend yeah but i'll uh you, but I'll you, you, oh yeah oh yeah, oh you're gonna be gone on tuesday yeah i was gonna say you're gonna be gone on monday i'm we don't yeah, shows I'll be gone on Monday, too. But uh, Tuesday, I'll be driving back. Uh, and I may be back early enough. I thought you said you were uh, flying down there. Ah, you know how much crap I got to bring? Uh, I'm packing now. I have uh, I have a safe, uh, a, a small yeah. safe for my guns. Uh, you know, I don't want to leave them unlocked in the car. Mm -hmm. uh, then I have uh, the backpack with all the gear. I've got a thousand rounds of forty-five ammo. That's really weighs Suppose a lot. Suppose they stop your car. Well, I'm legal, and and then I also have uh, Not, my. You're going to find out how legal you are when I start calling the cops and saying there's a guy <laughs> going down to Pahrump, yeah, and his car is loaded with ammo. That seems to be a mecca for shooters uh, from all over the country. Yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, I have, um, I have my cleaning stuff. My cleaning stuff is in a box this big uh, because there's, you know, so much to do and you got to be able Phil, to fix it. you know, I'm not it. feeling sorry for you. Oh, I got to haul all my guns and I got to haul all this equipment. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm supposed to feel bad for you, huh? Well, it's, uh, that's why I didn't take a plane. Uh, you know, it just it just wouldn't have worked. Mm -hmm. And so it's eight and a half hours if I don't have to pee or get gas. And uh, the uh, so I figured, all no, right, wait, how a minute, much wait a minute, wait a minute. You're missing your prostate. Don't you have to pee a lot lately? Not as much as I used to. Mm -hmm. And I've discovered always pads. If you have that little leak. Always. Isn't that for women? Yeah, but it works. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and it, you know, makes me look bigger, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> it's like padding it, <laughs> but, um, Oh, you know, look at that. It doesn't work, but you know. are you not happy to see me or do you just have a prostate problem? 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I've got the, the little bottle if I need to, but, uh, you know, we'll be able to stop on the way down and, uh, you know, grab a few things. Stop but, at Anderson's Pea Soup. Or is that still open? Isn't that on 152? Is it? It's, I don't think it, I take it goes that. Down, it goes down. What's the main road going down center of five. California? Five. Well, I think it's five. Five and there's 99. I think it's on five. Really? Yeah. Oh, you don't have to go over to 152, some truck I route. don't know. I haven't driven there in years. Yeah. Well, But I seem to remember whenever I would drive to L.A. using the main artery going down there. It's five, right? Yeah, five. That yeah. there was Anderson's Pea Soup. Yeah, well, I go through, um, I think it's, uh, what's the one that starts with a B? Uh, it's some Barstow? Uh, uh, it might be Barstow, but there's a Bakersfield. Bakersfield. Yeah, and uh, is that where they had the onion field killings in the in the early '60s? I don't remember. Were you involved yeah. in them? No. Oh, okay. Uh, but you know, everybody reads the book. You know, Joseph Wambaugh, and uh, he was a uh, he was a prolific writer for uh, you know wrote a lot of police stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, any, I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to this. I, actually, I have been practicing. I have a uh, laser bullet, and uh, the laser bullet goes in the gun, and then I have a laser target. Yeah. And you, you put this target on the other side of the room, and, and you shoot at it. And uh, I've gotten to the point where I can hit the size of a dime uh, consistently. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they have a cover that goes over it, and, and you have to hit within that dime size in order to make the but target. You say it's blink. a laser bullet. Yeah. What do you mean by a laser bullet? Well, it goes in the gun, and when you uh, drop the hammer, uh, the firing pin hits the back of it, and it puts out a laser light. And that laser light is picked up by the target. And uh, so it keeps track. So you take of, this with you? When you're no, traveling no. and you and you and you put it uh, uh, in your hotel room to give you no, something no, to do, I'm, I'm going to be tired enough when I get back. Uh, what I do with it though is, uh, for the last 30 days, I get up every morning and the first thing I do is is inject myself with the uh, Victosa diabetes stuff, and then I make coffee and then I sit down and I shoot 20 uh, uh, dry fire practice uh, rounds. And if all of them hit without miss any misses, then I have my cup of coffee and okay. I start my day. By the way, Kevin Stopper, you know, Kevin. Yeah. Right. Bring Phil back to the show. I Why? have a lot of people saying that to me lately. Yeah. You know, it's their safe space. You know, I, 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 I like being able to chat yeah, with but suppose you. I told you tomorrow, no more of this. You got to either be on the regular show or not at all. Well, you know, then that's the way it is. Uh, this is fine. Uh, you know, what happens is... So you like it because you're the center of attention. No, nah, well, yes and, yes and no. Or the center uh, of contention. Uh, yeah, really. Uh, what, I, what I like about it is I like to be able to have a conversation. You're a stimulating guy. You, mm -hmm. you, you push me uh, to, uh, to think, and I, and I like that. Um, and the uh, the thing is, is if I was on your regular show, uh, I am the one that people are all after. And that oh no, one, no! Once you left, now they're after Alan. I know. Well, I, I they're Alan, always going to find somebody to go after. I gave you Alan because you needed cannon fodder. <laughs> but he's not cannon fodder. He's he's to the left. I need a right winger. But he he fits I, in. I, but if I find hit. a right winger for my show, who's a really yeah. good right winger. Yeah, you're out of here, pal. I, I, you're out of here. <laughs> you know, but what happens is I, I get asked questions, and uh, if I answer it, it sounds like I'm being, I'm dominating the uh, the thing. Even if I ask you, is it okay to answer it? it it's it's not there, there's it's it's not level enough. If there was four right wingers and four or five left wingers, that might be a a, a good combination yeah. but with one with one guy and nine guys hating his guts uh you know i'm i'm better off on tuesdays <laughs> yeah well yeah, the kevin would like to have you back 
Yeah. I like Kevin very much. Maybe we should just do it one week. Have you come on one day during the week, during the regular show, and, and just just for grins? How's that? If if you know, we'll we'll see. Uh, you know, right now this is great. But here's how I'll make him feel guilty. Oh, I need you, Phil. I really <laughs> need you. Yeah, You'd sure. You'd be doing me a great favor if you came on the show, Phil. I'm I'm always happy to do a favor. Why you want to give Tuesdays away? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know. I would want to go to Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at the rate That's I'm okay. going. Look, you know. it wouldn't hurt my feelings. I'm happy to do this, mm -hmm. and, you know, I enjoy it. But it, if you needed to stop Tuesdays, that would be fine. I mean, I, you know, it, I'm not No, going no, to. but I've, I've just been thinking about going to Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Friday. I mean, I'm just beat. I'm beat. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting too old for this. Uh, yeah, and, uh, well... Do yeah. you think radiation has anything to do with this? Radiation? Yeah, you had it. That a, was a long a time ago. That was a year ago. Yeah, but uh, it does. You know, it does tire you out, and uh, you know. Also, we nobody's really exercising right now. Well, uh, I'm. I've been doing walking every day. Uh, I've been. I've been doing great. at least a mile and a half to two miles every day. Wow. So you know. Um, and some of them going upstairs and things like that, you know. Yeah. But today I couldn't do it because I had to go to the dentist well, for my yeah. for my cleaning. Well, how, how many times a year do you clean? Uh, you know, they were used to do it like four times a year, but yeah. your your uh, your insurance will only pay for twice a year. Yeah. And they, I don't know, for some reason they like the uh, cleaning because they also do the x-rays. And then when they do the x-rays, they find out how they can make some more money out of you. Of course. Right? Yeah. He didn't do the x-rays today. I found a way to get your teeth cleaned really fast. Uh, brush them? No. I was, <laughs> I was in there. Yeah. And it was 1 o'clock point. It's now one thirty. And I haven't seen the, the hygienist yet. Yeah. All right. So I, uh, uh, I said, uh, I'm sorry, but I got an appointment at two. And they said, oh, wait a minute. Let me get a hold of her. Oh, we'll get you in. And she rushed the cleaning. I mean, she was just going, meow, meow. Felt like she was one of the guys, you know, pointing the building here. You know, meow, yeah. meow. And uh, she got me out of there in a half hour. And with the yeah. dentist looking at me, too. And they didn't do the x-rays. Yeah. Which the no. x-rays will always cost you money, folks. You know? That's true. You know, the insurance only pays so much. And uh, I had a deep cleaning uh, not too long ago. I've, uh, I've had, I have those all the time. Yeah. Well, I needed it. And uh, although I, f I discovered a thing called the gum, it's a little brush that goes on the end of a stick and you can push it between your teeth. Uh, and it's, it's a little rubber of, thing, right? No, no, it's like a brush. Oh, it's like a brush. Oh, I know it, what you're talking about. Yeah, I've seen those. Like and, a little Christmas tree. None uh, of those things work. What, what she told me to do was just get some floss and just do it with floss. So, yeah. uh, Oh, yeah. you know, you had been complaining about uh, your uh, arthritic fingers, right? Well, well I got it taken care of. Notice it's two weeks now since I got the shot and I still have a black and blue mark there. Look, see? You can see yeah, it. but you only have four fingers. Uh, no. <laughs> well, that's because I'm a cartoon character. No, yes. but you see there? I, see there? Yeah. Oh, wow. They really, uh, they really stabbed he, you. Well, I mean, he did the, uh, he did the, uh, uh, the cortisone. Eh, right in there. But that's painful. Oh, is that yeah. painful? Uh, I wanted to tell you about a thing that I'm using called TheraPutty. It's a, uh, oh, it's green. This one's green. You can't see it. Mm. Uh, maybe I can, uh, no, you can't see it because it's green. Mm. But uh, That's why I, I don't use my green sodas on the show. Uh, it just well, looks like uh, I'm going. What you do is you, you squeeze it like this. this you, you can see this, right? Yeah. Oh, red soda, yeah. yeah. So when you squeeze it like this, now it comes yeah. in four different uh, densities. Yeah. And each color is a different density. You start with yellow. Oh, you can see the green now. Yeah. Uh, when it's behind my hand. Uh, so uh, the yellow is the softest. Then it's the uh, red. And then the green. And then the blue. And I use this uh, when I'm driving or when yeah. I'm doing it, watching television or anything oh, like that. Well, and it's made... 15 bucks 
you get all the containers. Uh, well, no, I, I had something like that, but it was not uh, it was not a uh, uh, putty. It was just yeah. a rubber ball that I yeah. used and that I squeezed, and that helped. But this, uh, I had to get rid of the uh, the arthritis. It was starting to really get to the point where it's kind of hard, you know, hurting and so on. Well, and I have still, arthritis. It didn't do it away with it completely, but it did away with about 90 I have arthritis in my fingers. And uh, now You listen to us, folks, two old guys. Hey, my arthritis is acting up, and I got the, the rheumatiz. I tell you what, I'll send you uh, uh, one of these uh, sets. And I don't uh, need it. Know. My hand's okay now. Well, in the it'll strengthen your hands, too. You know, that's when, not going uh, to get rid of arthritis. It helps. No. Uh, yeah, it, it really helps, you know. And, and, you know, you just do one of these numbers with yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, so what do you think of um, Marjorie uh, Taylor uh, Green? Is she the one that carries a Glock in the... Uh, in, no, in, no, no. That's... Uh, I forget her name. She's up in Wyoming or someplace like that. Colorado or something. She actually has a bar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with guns. It's got guns in the name or something, and yeah. she allows people to pack while they're there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, the, the Marjorie Taylor Greene is, uh, you know, she's from Georgia. Yeah. She she has rewritten the, the story of the Holocaust. Yeah, there was no Holocaust, I guess. No, she but, didn't say there wasn't a Holocaust. She said there was a Holocaust. Yes. But that uh, that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Irish, it, it, her having to wear a mask is like the Jews having to wear a star during the Holocaust. Yeah, well, I, know, I that one I don't understand. Even in a, even in a warped world like she lives in, uh, well, it doesn't make much sense. You know, there is talking about these kinds of things. Look at all the anti-Semitic acts that are going on, like in Los Angeles. Uh, pe uh, people were across the street from the Holocaust Museum in in L.A. And they were eating dinner, and a bunch of thugs came up in cars, got out with uh, uh, flags. Uh, these, mm. I guess, they were the ISIS flags. Yeah. And uh, started beating up on those people, and then uh, another group of people came in and started beating up on the ISIS guys. Uh, I don't remember uh, what that group was, but it was wasn't a Jewish group, and. Uh, there's there's been a, a ton of anti-Semitic uh, or attacks, uh, and it's only going to get worse. And you know that's uh, what I help out with is. Uh, are you I talking about here in the United States, or are you talking yes, about the ones absolutely. that happen in in Israel? No, this is this was in uh, Fair on, in the Fairfax district of Los Angeles mm. uh, uh, this week, yeah. uh, and, and you know there's been uh, several other. Uh, attacks on Asians, on Jews, uh, you know, so uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, uh, division, uh, and, and it's, it's a bad Well, as thing. I said yesterday to somebody on the Monday show, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, they keep going after the Jews, they keep trying to kill the Jews, they keep trying to, you know, smash them, and so on, and, so. and I'm, I think we have to ask ourselves, what are we doing to piss them off? Uh, we're the chosen people. <laughs> What we do, just want them to choose somebody to else once in a while. I mean, they've always been after us. Why? What did we do? Well, you know, maybe we're just really annoying. I don't know. Well, that's true. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, <laughs> that's why I'm confined till Tuesday. Uh, to Tuesday. Yeah. But uh, there now in Israel, of course, uh, if you look at the four thousand bombs that uh, were lobbed over, uh, yes, there wasn't quite the death toll. And the only reason that Obama gave Israel the Iron Dome was to keep them from attacking, uh, was it uh, Iraq? Uh, because uh, what was happening was... Who gave them the Iron Dome? Obama. Obama, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, there, there was, they were being uh, provoked uh, by Syria... And, uh, and and a number of other things uh, during uh, there was a you know during that war I guess the Syrian mm -hmm. war and uh, they were lobbing bombs into Israel and Obama gave the Iron Dome system uh, to the Israelis and of course it, it's been great but what the Ira uh, the Iranians are trying to do is see if they can overwhelm that Iron Dome defense well, I wonder why you can't have two Iron Domes 
you know uh if if you can over if you have one and it can stand up to four thousand rockets oh, see, why would it's got to be a joke there's got to be a joke about iron domes um, uh, you're uh, a few hairs short of an iron dome aren't you i am yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i've gone it's... all the way there i have an iron dome right there yeah. Yeah, yeah, when you were talking about anti-Semitic acts, I was thinking of my friend David Feldman, yeah. who people always said about David that if Hitler had managed to get him, he would have felt satisfied and stopped there. I thought that's what you used to say about me. <laughs> well, you stole that one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, the Holocaust was a, was a terrible thing, and people are starting to forget, uh, you know, what happened. And, uh, you know, it was people like your friend who recently passed away that was able to at least tell the story. Uh, my friend's father, who uh, also survived Auschwitz, uh, and uh, he, uh, he went in at, the, I think, the age of nine. Uh, he was from Poland, mm -hmm. and uh, he was interviewed uh, for that um, uh, Spielberg thing. And I have the interview on uh, DVD. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, when I watched it, and, you know, it, it was amazing. They, they didn't realize what was happening to them at the time. Well, that was that whole project that Spielberg did when he suddenly started having great guilt for the fact that he never cared whether he was a Jew or not. Well, yeah, but I think when he was making Schindler's List, he was doing research, too, you know. But, uh, you know, when I heard the story and I heard it recounted by my friend's father, who, and this was maybe, what, 15 years ago, maybe mm -hmm. a little longer, uh, you know, he's, he's in a hospice right now. So he's in his nineties and, uh, he won't be able to recount that, but uh, thanks to the Spielberg project. And even though it might've been through guilt, uh, those stories are still being told. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the anti-Semitism that exists right now in this country and, and around the world, it's around the world. It's been going on for a while, but it's really rearing. Well, you know, I don't know that you're necessarily correct in your assumption. In this respect, I don't think you're acting like there was a point at which uh, anti-Semitism went away. And I don't uh, think it ever it went away. As, I don't it, think it, it ever well, went away. It wasn't as prominent as it is today. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's 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 synagogues that are uh, being shot up. There's uh, like the one in Philadelphia. That was a while ago, but not Philadelphia, yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's not a good thing. Hey. Well, listen, I only have two people waiting Yeah, uh, to well, be on the bring show. Bring them in here. Huh? <laughs> bring them in here. <laughs> well, I can bring, bring them in here, and then we can get rid of you. But hold on a second. Let me just, you want this. Here's Charlie Wallace, for instance. Uh, here's Charlie. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? Where's Charlie? Is he going to do it at all? I mean, and oh. here, here's Alan. Uh, let's see here. Okay, there we go. There's Alan. Yeah. Uh, so hey, they're here on Tuesday. Bill huh? finally made it. Yeah. Hey, Charlie, what's the count and the amount? Oh, five hundred ninety thousand nine hundred dead. Hmm. Really? Wow, he shows, he shows up on the show, Alex, and he takes over. Hey, Charlie, what's the count? Yeah, but Charlie, I still can't park my car, and we got all of those deads. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of parking places in Texas. Yeah. Uh, how many deaths in Texas today? 51,200. Oh, no, no, today, today's. Well, today, only, only uh, what was it, 30, 39. We're 39. down, we're down, we were down at least the other day, and I don't know uh, what that was yeah, no. exactly, but we were down to uh, 14 here in New York State. So, yeah. You know. Uh oh, oh there's, uh, there's Schmoody. Hello, Schmoody. Hi. Hello. Yeah, the guy up Bill above is to uh, join uh, us. At, at, at the very top is a. Uh, oh, I just crawled over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at look at Alan. He's got the same background. Yeah, oh, and, and, and Alex could have that in a second too. Yeah, but then if I did it, I would have to. I would be uh, uh, causing a problem here in the. Um, they would demonetize you? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I I would be having a problem because in order to set it up. Yeah, uh, I would have to cover the picture in order to do it. So, oh, I see. Oh, you yeah. can't just choose like we do. It, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Right. Here comes uh, uh, Alan. What are hey. you holding there? It's invisible. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to 
Let's get rid of this th screen for a minute here. Something with brain, huh? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was part of my brain. So background filter. Let's get rid of that for a minute. So three dollars at Kaiser. This is Flonase generic. That's right. right. That's exactly what. Yeah, the, that's you're exactly right, Alex. It's is. like thirty-five dollars retail. It's outrageous. You go to Costco and get five five bottles for twenty bucks. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know what Same happened stuff. was. Here's what happens. I used to get this from my doctor, the uh, the uh, Flonase, but in that form that you have there, because I my your insurance wants you to buy generic, right? Right. Right. Um, but uh, so I got this for a long time, but I was able to have my insurance pay for it. Well, it went, what? It stopped being a prescription drug and just went. Uh, Eric. Over the counter, OTC. And all of a sudden, I'm having to pay for it. Alert from login. You know, uh, Alan and I have a friend who asked for samples. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, Jeff has an interesting problem again. Are you okay, Jeff? Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> He's got, got hey, some. Hey, it's actually more interesting than me. So. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, uh, you know, so our friend, Alan and I have a friend, this guy, Paul, and he asks for samples. Sometimes we go to a Chinese restaurant where it's like a buffet, uh, but, but and you choose, you know, you pick this one, this one, you get two scoops, and he'll say, right, can I get a taste of that? Can I can I get this? Right, Alan? I, I wouldn't call him a friend. He's more of an acquaintance. Yeah. Well, anyway, you should ask your doctor for samples. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, what, and what happened to Kathleen? We can't uh, seem to hold anybody away. here at all. Get her away. <laughs> so, uh, so, so I see your hotel, Phil, has got a hundred dollar a night for the for the next week, huh? Uh, it might. I think I paid a lot for more sweets. than that. Yeah, for sweets. You probably just got a little two bedded thing, huh? Uh, king size, bed, but. Uh, I don't know. It was. I, I don't know. I, I'm. I'm going to bring my light. I have a black light, and yeah. I'm. Gonna, I'm going to look and see how filthy these rooms are. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the carpet and the and the and the bedspread. Wow. You know, I haven't stayed in the hotel in over a year. No. I'm, I'm not looking forward to that. Look at that big belly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's scary. <laughs> it is scary. Hey, if you fell down, would you be able to get back up? Not easily, you know. Yeah, well, uh, at least at least I'm still under sixty-five. So, yeah, well, I put on some weight and I can't get it off to save my life. I I, 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 I hardly eat at all, and I think it has to do with that operation that I had way back when. Where where did where did the Kathleen so go? This is the so? light Phil has. One oh yeah, you things. bought one too. Yep. And oh. God, there's piss all over my screen. Yeah, I bought one because Phil told me to get it. When you go in the hotel, you turn the light on and look at the bed spread and stuff, and it shows you if there's <laughs> urine. And that way you don't have to sleep in somebody's... Uh, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Do you really want to know if there's any, any sort of DNA? Do you really want to know if there's urine there? Yeah, so I can get another bed spread. Yeah. That's uh, going to be clean. <laughs> Yeah. When I go into somebody's house, there's there's two ways of handling it. I'll say, hey, uh, you know, I know you have pets. Uh, do you have any problems with pet stains? Oh, no, Fluffy never pees on the carpet. And I say, well, you want me to check? Oh, yeah, sure. I pull up that light <laughs> and I shine it. And you see all these yellow spots where yeah. uh, where Fluffy peed. And they go, oh, no. Well, it, also, it also finds sperm. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Anything it, with protein in it. Right. And yeah. that light is really bright. I mean, yes, maybe Fluffy would jack it off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Fluffy. We were talking <laughs> earlier about a Holocaust. If you'd put that thing on my blank, my sheets at one point in my life, you would have seen a Holocaust like you've never seen. With oh, all the potential God. babies that didn't come to exist because they wound up on my sheets. Yeah, that, that, that reminds me of that video you did called the Spermathon. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I always liked that name. You know, it was... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Alex did this video. Uh, where, where was it? Was it at the Plato's, Plato's, Pl Pl Pluto's Retreat? Plato's <laughs> Retreat. Plato's. Yeah. Pl uh, Pluto's was, uh, Retreat, right. 
There was a place in New York City, uh, and uh, you you go in there, and there was sex all over the place. Uh, I don't. I'd never been there. I, my friend George used to go there all the time, but uh, I used to go there because I got in for nothing because I knew the guy who owned the yeah. place, and they had a buffet, and I would have the buffet and leave. Yeah. Well, you gave me a videotape of the Spermathon. It was on VHS. I don't know. Oh, really? I, I, but, was I actually proud enough to pass those out? Yeah. And, uh, well, you, you, you actually made a copy for me. Well, so, no, this was all based upon, I had watched, uh, what was it, uh, I, Claudius. Yeah. And the woman in that, what was her name? Played by Helen Mirren, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Decides that she's going to fuck the whole army. You know, she brings in hundreds of guys, wants to see how many she can have sex with in one night. And uh, I, thought, I, 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 I thought that was a good idea. So I created the spermathon, and try, we found this woman, tried to see how many people she could have sex with in one night. How, how, many, how many was it? Was well, it, it got beaten years later by other people who came along and did three, four hundred, but this was only like 75. Yeah, yeah, I think it was like 75 or 80. Yeah. yeah. You ought to come on more often, Phil. Our numbers are going up. Uh, they are. Got, yeah. They are. See, they Phil? Are. See, Phil? I got 44 right now. Well, uh, it's down to 41 now since you started talking, Alan. Uh-huh, that's probably <laughs> that. <laughs> but what happens is, is they throw darts at their screen, and when they hit the screen, they go off the numbers. So you know, you get them, and they and they go away. Well, you see, if if Kathleen were to show us her breasts, the numbers would go up. <laughs> Wait a minute, but if 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 Alan were to show us his, they'd go up even higher. So you know, uh, Alan's don't go up that high. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, thanks, Phil. You saw me sideways a minute ago. It wasn't pretty. Yeah. So. I got twins in there, I'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Brian's been losing weight. Oh, very nice, yeah. Brian. I like that. Have you been uh, losing weight, Brian? Yeah. How many uh, pounds? 30? Yeah, like 35 pounds. <clears throat> and counting. 35 pounds, yeah. I gained, yeah. The weekends are a little bit tough, but during the week, it's pretty good. Because so. I lost about 60, and then I've gained some of them back now. You well, know what I'm going to do is get on YouTube. You can see Brian and his new Speedos. Yeah. Hey, you know, when, when yeah, I was only. back in 2003, my wife lost 209 pounds in one day. She got <laughs> rid of you. She divorced me. <laughs> yeah. the, the line, the better line is I, I, I once I got rid of uh, about 100 pounds of ugly fat. How'd you do that? I divorced her. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a joke. Uh, hey, Kathleen, it's just the guys. Pulling guys. I know. Yeah. He probably has more filthy jokes than we do. So. Oh, probably. Oh, oh. <laughs> probably. Yeah. My, my, my. Don't you I, know it? Wait a minute. Here comes Kevin. Oh, wow. Ke Kevin. Well, Kevin wanted Phil on, so now he's coming. Yeah, he's yeah. on. So, yeah. Hey. Hey there, Kevin. How are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. Well, you made a suggestion, so your wishes are my command. I, I saw heard. that, Phil. Yeah, he, he... you ignorant slut. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, isn't that the stolen line from uh, Saturday Night Live? Yes, it is. But I had to use it. Dang, you ignorant. Especially on you. Good to see you, buddy. Same here. Say something uh, stupid so we can argue. Yeah, live. <laughs> Come on, that's why I wanted you on here. This is we gotta we gotta get back into the good old times. The Come only on. person that isn't here is is uh, is uh, uh, Trek. No, Tony. Oh, Tony. So that we could uh, see the real wallpaper. Oh man, when you said Shrek, I know just who you're talking about. That's funny. What do you mean Shrek? Uh, that's that was my nickname for uh, who's the guy from New Jersey? Looks like Shrek. Tony. Who? No, from oh, New Jersey. Tony. No, Robert. he's fat Tony. He's, uh, he's a teacher. Robert. A Robert that's Robert. it. Robert and Tolly. Yeah, he has been calling lately. Yeah. Well, he looks. I don't think he resembles Shrek. No. no. I think there's a, there's a good resemblance there. No. <laughs> nice yeah be nice but you know i do I didn't like bring you on here to be nasty yeah i like the name that uh he gave me that filibuster that, that, i wish i thought of it 
<laughs> <You know? laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So that how, was pretty good. How was your weekend, Kathleen? It was good. Really? Nothing, you know, no big deal. Just another day. I've been suffering with allergies. My eyes have just been trashed the last couple of days. And I'm sniffling too. What what are gas prices in New York? He the gas know. price thing went up on on Biden's watch because Russia sabotaged yeah. our gas pipeline, and that's why gas prices are going up right now. Yeah. So, Phil. Phil. What do you? I I think they've been going up because he closed the Keystone pipeline, which no, had nothing to uh, do with it. Sent a bad message. The Keystone uh, pipeline. Had, the, the, the Keystone right pipeline. Right there, he up in Texas. We're we're no longer a producer. We're now a Wait consumer. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What was the? Please tell me what the Keystone pipeline was supposed to do. It was supposed to give uh, looks like twelve thousand jobs. Oh uh, no, no, no! Forget about that. Forget about that. You're I, complaining that your gas prices are higher because of the Keystone pipeline. Well, that's part of it. And also no, no, it's not no, part it's of not. it. So what, where, what, where do you where does the where did the Keystone pipeline go? Uh, from Canada to uh, uh, Galveston, I think. Yeah, right. and between it's here and there, the did any of the gas get was any of the gas going to get offloaded? Nope. No, no, it was going to be sold no. outside the country. No, but what it did was it moved uh, it moved pro it was going to move product and it gave a lot of people jobs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like, but, lost. but you was you were like all those jobs in Wisconsin at the Fat Foxconn place, yeah. just like that. Oh, is that where they jump out the window? No, the Foxconn con yeah. plant in uh, yeah. Wisconsin that Trump was going to build with that uh, yeah, no. this guy. All those jobs they were going to build in yeah. Wisconsin fucking bribed the company. How yeah. about all those jobs? You know how but, many jobs that produced? About two hundred. Well, Foxconn is a Chinese company, right? Yeah, yes. and it was and it was Trump's big fucking yeah. uh, you know right. breakthrough, and he bribed he fucking bribed that company to come out and and do that. Wisconsin gave them all kinds of <clears throat> government money and tax credits. Oh, a bunch I, of cheese I, and I, shit. The thing, I like, <laughs> the thing I like about Foxconn is when they were in China, uh, they they used to have to put nets yeah, on the they, windows yeah, yeah, to stop did. people from committing suicide. Isn't that right? Yeah. 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 Uh, All the Keystone jobs were temporary. Well, I think they were good for about what five, eight years, something like that. Uh, they're good for about two years. And yeah. Be like twenty-five jobs. And how's that going to lower your gas prices? Well, there was more to it than just no. That. There wasn't I, more to it than that. The I, fact was I, that why gas. Would, was, why yeah. would Russia? Oh, it's like uh, the old allowed days now. now to put a pipeline to Germany. Uh, and, and instead of uh, you know buying American, what does that goods? have to do with us? Yeah, it, really, it weakens us. No, we it's a little bit closer. Yeah. It's a little bit yeah. closer. But, I mean, that has nothing to do and with it, us. And it, puts, <laughs> and it puts dependence on the Russians in the EU. So all of a sudden, the Russians, once they uh, are controlling the fuel flow into the EU, then they can raise the prices and they can and they can screw right. with it's like uh, the good old days, isn't it, gang? Yeah. It's so nice to have Phil here. Hey. Phil, I, I, you know, I paid $2.49 a gallon yesterday. Really? How I much paid, car? I paid four thirty nine dollars for regular. How much did you it's pay? It's $4.70 up here. Yeah. Really? I just $2. paid $4.70. Really? Well, California has always exactly. been extremely expensive because there are a lot of other taxes in there that other states don't pay. Absolutely. We have a smart. <laughs> Two ninety nine in Connecticut this tonight. Yeah, we have a summer mixture for uh, California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we use it in the winter now too. Uh, yeah, they, 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 yeah, they, they mix it with a scent of strawberries. They used to right. now. <laughs> MTBE, and then they poison the water in Tahoe. You remember the MTBE yes. that, uh, that was being used in gasoline? It wasn't good for rubber. No. Oh, yeah. and then in the fall, it smells like pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it wasn't good. It got in the ground. Wasn't she one spice. of the uh, one of those girls, the Spice Girls? Uh, <laughs> pumpkin, pumpkin spice. spice. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, <laughs> Kathleen, how is the social life up in Guala? <laughs> Actually, I like it because I'm I'm pretty much an extrovert who wishes she were an introvert. So the less people I see, the happier I am. Yeah. But you know, all you know, I'm the youngest person in town, so words words gotten out. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> the hot young chick is here. Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, you, uh, what's what's that thing that they throw in the Olympics? Uh, that uh, not a discus, a hammer. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, talking about the Olympics, uh, yeah, Japan may, may be uh, canceling uh, their uh, their Olympic Games because of COVID. Everybody's been asking for them to do it. Yeah. Well, well that's I mean, supposed to start next week, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, there's not going to be anybody in the stands. Right. You They'll know. have pictures of uh, people in the stands. <laughs> I hear the Trumps are going over there, Trumps people. Mm-hmm. Be yeah. By the way, by the way, uh, how how... I hope that Trump loses a little weight so he can fit into that prison outfit. <laughs> you know, with that costing us a lot of money. Well, so well, he'll get a lot of exercise. We should be we should be prison. hearing about an indictment coming down any day. I'm just now. wondering. You know, I I like Trump, but I'm picturing him when you just said that in an orange jumpsuit with one of his long ties. You know, they, they go all the way down to his belly button. <laughs> yeah, you know. you know, yeah. Baseball, baseball hat, the MAGA hat. You well, know. he, he, uh, he uh, it's a question of who he's going to throw under the bus to try and save his ass. I don't think any Melania did it. Anybody. Melania did it. Yeah. yeah. Don Jr. <laughs> Don Jr. Fuck you, Don Jr. I never liked you anyway. And was and probably Eric. Eric's the easiest. Oh, one Eric's the one to go. Yeah, Eric's the I one you throw. I got a feeling it's going to be Baron. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't seen him lately. What does he look like? Uh, he's, he's actually a good-looking kid, and he's taller than than everybody. Yeah. yeah. You know, sure he isn't your son. <laughs> now, do you think he's ashamed of his father? Nah. Uh, what do you mean now? You say that like it's a matter of course. I think he's living a pretty damn good life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, what, what's the alternative? He could have been in, born in Slovenia, and, you know, they only have electricity two hours a day and no windows that weren't broken. Well, it's not a pretty good life if you think about it. Right. I mean, would you want to be a kid growing up in the White House and now being protected by the Secret Service? You know, that's no. got to be a... Uh, I mean, the Obamas did everything they could to try and give their kids a normal upbringing. But and look they, what but, happened to them. What, yeah. do you mean, what happened yeah. to them? They got arrested more. You know, Barron hasn't been arrested. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They got arrested? Did, did any of the Obama kids no, get arrested? No. Oh. Pot or something. Uh, Bush. <coughs> oh, Bush. Was Bush. 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 Obama's kids haven't got arrested. What, how dare you, Phil? Oh. Think about all the kids that have lived in the White House since the Kennedys. Uh, you got, you know, the Kennedy kids, they're, they're having a tough time. There's only one left. Uh, and then uh, you, you look at, uh, who was yeah. after them? Well, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Lady, Lady Bird's kids. There were uh, only there were only two. Yeah. So George died. And, and George, well, no, it wasn't George. He had a newspaper or magazine. George. Name. Yes. JFK yeah. Jr. JFK yeah. Jr. Yeah. George. Uh, wasn't a bad magazine, but uh, hey, you know. The, 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 during the last presidency, the only kid I remember in the White House was Trump. Oh, uh, and then yeah, yeah. Then, then there was um, uh, you know Lady Bird had uh, Linda Bird, and yeah. Linda Bird married Cox. No. Yeah. I no. I didn't even know they had any kids. She he married oh, Rob. Kids? Oh, the guy's oh, name is Rob. Tra- Charles Rob. Yeah. Charles Rob. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, was it Nixon's daughter that married a Cox? Yes. Okay. A cock and sucker. Then, Dick and Cox. How about that? You know? Yeah. And then <laughs> Dick and uh, yeah, Dick and Cox. Yeah. <laughs> that's a law firm. Dick and Cox. Oh, that's Cox, Skinner Dick. and Reamer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that ex- actually existed. Do you know yes. Fred I, did I tell you Fred Reamer died? Yeah. 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 Fred Reamer was my lawyer. He was he the was one so that young. I he's the one that I hired 
uh, after uh, I got rid of my old attorney, whose name wasn't as good for the law. His name was Mr. Turtle. <laughs> and, you know, you never got anywhere by saying, if you fuck with me, you're going to have to deal with my attorney, Mr. Turtle. <laughs> but when you say you're going to have to deal with my lawyer, Mr. Reamer, they yeah. listen. Well, Especially my, if Skinner and Reamer. And, Sk and his mother yeah. had a divorce firm with a guy by the name of Skinner, and it was a divorce firm of Skinner and Reamer. Wow. Not much left after they, they get in there. Yeah. Uh, you know, the only, uh, the only bones. <laughs> yep. Yep. But... Um, uh, oh, my, my, talk about weird names for doctors. My dentist, who is the best dentist in the world, his last name is Gruel. Gruel, you know, and, uh, you know, that, that, I don't that, know. My dentist is a kid. His last name was Panic. Really? Yeah, Bob <laughs> Panic, Robert Panic. I think Alex was mentioning the other night about, uh, dentists, uh, in Oakland, uh, called, um, uh, um, painless Parker. Oh no, that was in San Francisco. The, the oh, painless yeah. Parker, the friendly credit dentist. Yeah. Right. And uh, <laughs> uh, I had a friend that worked for his competitor, H.H. Uh, H. Brady, and it was a credit dentist. And they used to see a hundred people a day through there. Wow. And uh, but uh, yeah, painless Parker, and he actually had to change his name because you couldn't call yourself anything but your name as a dentist really so he changed his name to painless hmm. uh, from whatever it was uh, and uh so so he could hang a shingle that said painless parker yeah well anyway so um um uh, yeah oh boy i'm tired tonight i i, I, I i've got this the these allergies are just unrelenting so but we got enough people they can talk you, to. You go to San Francisco and get rid of your allergies. Uh, you'll have it here, too. Oh, you, no, you, I had them terribly when I was growing up in Marin when the acacia trees would come into bloom. You'd uh, hear me. They could hear me two blocks away wheezing. Yeah. Here comes Schwarzman. Here, come, here comes here comes uh, Bennett, whatever I named they knew me by. And, uh, so uh, we, uh, in San Francisco... Uh, people are having a hard. Uh, my friend's a landlord, and he has a quite a bit of property, and he can't rent it. Uh, people aren't renting. the The prices are going down. Those people. Yeah, are but you out. try to go to some place like uh, where was I reading? Des Moines, Iowa, or some place like that. Yeah. You can't buy a home for really? a decent price. There's the prices are just out of out of out of yeah, the park, and the reason yeah. is is that people. Uh, can now they found they can do their job anywhere right they don't have to be in san francisco my, my sister's a realtor and she lives in uh, outside of nashville and uh she said that there is no product available unless you have a listing uh there there's there's nothing to sell and that the prices are going up uh, uh in, quite a bit. the inventory's low is what they call right. it yeah yeah so I mean, it, it it's uh, but places like Des Moines, San, Nashville, Austin, Texas—they're all little holes. New York has had an exodus, I think. <laughs> yeah, I've actually been to Austin. It's nice. I like Austin. Yes, well, Austin. Tommy, what what's the deal with uh, what they're doing with the homeless? I guess the even the Democratic mayor of Austin is is getting involved in in that. Yeah, they're eating them. Well, we just had a, a vote. And people <laughs> voted to kick them out. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, so how can they do that? You know, can't uh, isn't that against their civil rights? All all this time, uh, even in California, back uh, when Reagan was uh, uh, governor and and president, they uh, he emptied out things. They said it was against their civil rights to hold them. I guess uh, don't people have a right to go wherever they want in the public? Hey, Alex, aren't they barbecuing them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get those hey, ribs Texas and links. Barbecue's huh? the best. <laughs> That's right, ribs and links. Yeah. Don't tell everybody where the link came from. They kind of <laughs> I guess it, I guess it got out of hand. So they they actually had a vote. They come uh, in ex-cripsy. Yeah. Hmm? 
They haven't done anything yet. I haven't seen any of the tents are still under the freeways and stuff. Why, you know, why don't they move intersections tents? everywhere? They but you, you got that problem in a lot of cities. Uh, San Francisco, I think, was having that problem, wasn't yeah, it? Just it all does. Also San Francisco does. bought a bunch of hotels, and now they've just got all these homeless people living in the hotels. And you're in one know. of them. As a matter yeah, of well, no, I'm not. I'm paying. I'm paying to live here. Hey, I don't think, John, that they bought the hotels. I think they've leased them during COVID. Once COVID's yeah. over with, all the all the tents and homeless are going to be back on the street in San Francisco. Well, I'll, 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 I'll believe it when I see it. I hear that Ted Cruz has got a lot of property. We ought to move them there. Yeah. <laughs> they just cleared out. They just cleared out an area here that had a bunch of homeless. Where the lady was right there on the expressway when you go on the freeway. She was right there feeding the ducks and everything. So they just cleared that area out. So I bet you in a couple of weeks it'll already be back back to normal. Wow. Well, there you go. You can have duck is on sale now. They're hungry. Did you neighborhood. have that problem down in uh, where where you were living before, uh, uh, Schmoody? Where in Tracy? Tracy, was there a problem with the? Well, yeah, there stuff? were some issues in Tracy, yeah. at a couple of the parks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the other thing. Are all these these old old uh, uh, the you know the the mobile home thingies? You know the the, the trucks, yeah. or the RVs. Mm -hmm. Those old yeah. RVs. Those start stacking up in certain parking lots and areas near parks and stuff mm -hmm. like that too. If you, drive, if you drive over by Golden Gate Park, uh, like Lincoln Avenue, that, yeah. that area, uh, there's RV after RV parked uh, yeah. one in front of the other. But, uh, you know, the other thing uh, that is happening is um, uh, invasions uh, where uh, I saw a video uh, the other day where a guy was getting on the, uh, uh, the freeway going towards the Oakland Bay Bridge and he was stopped in traffic. A car pulled up next to him. Got out of the guy. Got out of the car. He smashed the rear window of this guy's Tesla, grabbed his knapsack, got back into his car, and they took off. And uh, of course, there's nothing nothing you can do about it. But this is happening more and more often in uh, in the Bay Area, especially San Francisco. Yeah. They had to arm people here in the Bay Area. That won't, won't that'll come to a stop quickly. You know, I always thought that if you want to end gun crime, you you have a mandatory 25 year enhancement to uh, to uh, anyone that commits a crime and uses a gun. You know, I, I I think that would help stop people. It either fill up the jails or it would help stop people. I thought they do. They I, I, uh, yeah. crime, Let me bring up something. Uh, you don't know, even prosecute people in San Francisco. You know what it was? Uh, Marjorie Taylor. Um, Green. Yeah. Green. Um, Margie Q. Huh? Margie Q. Margie Q. Yeah. Uh, she um, did this whole thing where she talked about how wearing a mask was akin to wearing a star during the Holocaust. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And uh, first of all, everybody was today on television on MSNBC was calling her anti Semitic for that remark. Now, as a Jew, I'm trying to figure out what was anti-Semitic about that remark. The mark, yeah, the remark are. was terribly misinformed. Right. It was ignorant, you know. But it was ignorant. But it wasn't anti-Semitic, oh, was yeah, it? I'll tell you why. I'll it tell you why. Minimizing so you can, yeah, it's belittling the Holocaust. It's well, like no, saying, no, no. Oh, you know, that's not going to hurt anybody. That's not. But I wouldn't. As a Jew, I would not identify that as anti-Semitism. I'm sure she's anti-Semitic. I'm sure of it. I would just but say But that remark in and of itself was not uh, anti-Semitic. You know, this is a person that doesn't understand or isn't aware of what the Holocaust was, uh, what happened, and, and, and used it lightly. Uh, and, you know, people make bad uh, comparisons, and that was just another one that, you know, I've done plenty. Yeah. Well, she 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 is, uh, you know, uh, affiliated with you know, right wing white nationalist organizations. And in oh. fact, that's how she got elected through that little area that she yeah. lives in. Well, it, it took it took it took what's his name the, uh, God, my mind's a blank tonight. Uh, it, it, what's his name? Who was the uh, the uh, uh, head of the 
Republicans in Congress. Uh, 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 not uh, um, Turtle. Uh, what? Turtle? McCarthy. <laughs> Huh? Oh, in Congress, McCarthy. McCarthy. Uh, so, uh, it took him. It took him like five days to say that that was a bad statement on her part. He's not Jewish. No, but he suddenly today he said she really that was wrong of her to say, and we should admonish her for that, and so on and so forth. But it took him like five days to decide that that was something wrong. I mean, it definitely was a wrong statement. I'm just questioning whether, I'm on the face of it, it was anti-Semitic. What? I said, I'm actually surprised he admitted that it was wrong. Well, it, it just was a stretch. You know, I, I, it, it's, it's, come on. It's a it was, little more than so a stretch. It's a stu it, it, Yeah, right, Kathleen. Look at her. She found yeah. that the funniest thing you've said all night. Yeah, well, you know, sure, right it's something I saw in the yeah, background. And, 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 and how? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Put that on there. What? My the white privilege. Phil. Yes. Oh, the white privilege uh, thing. Yeah. Do you know that it's there, Phil? Of course. Yeah, no. Put it there. No. <laughs> Put it there. <laughs> I, I just didn't have a star of David to 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 put on my mask. I, I, I guess things are a little slow in San Francisco. Do you know it's there, Phil? Hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't have put that on if you know. Mm. I mean, well, but you're not you're not a Republican with white privilege, so you yeah. know. Yeah. Use that cracker. Yeah. Well, let's see. I'll, I'll find uh, something. Else. I, I thought that would get a, a a raise out of somebody. Oh yeah. Uh, You're actually well, talking about it on chat, you know. Uh, I'm just surprised <laughs> that you admit it. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Is that one of your pictures, Phil? Yeah, yeah. Not uh, in you know what that one shark looks like. He's saying to himself, "Haggerhead and, and a where tiger. is he? I thought I saw him here a moment ago. He looked, <laughs> he looked, he looked like he had a lot of meat on him. Yeah, it was very tasty. I, yeah, actually." I, it, it was like a merry-go-round of sharks. Eight days, I had these sharks just coming around, getting fed. Then uh, they go in in order, uh, and the tigers came first, then the hammerheads. And uh, so, what they do before you photograph them is they feed them, so they're not yeah. hungry. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and and they know that these boats are going to give them frozen fish, and uh, they they come around every year. Uh, you know, you know the. I mean, uh, no, they don't come like, around every year. You do with the food. <laughs> you know, it sounds like a Warner Brothers cartoon. <laughs> Where you know the sharks, they clock in. Hey, Louie. Hey, Joe. <laughs> hey. Yeah. So yeah. the people that don't know Phil, I mean, he's an underwater photographer. He is not in a cage with these sharks. No, I was right out there with him. I mean, these sharks are 18, 20 feet long. These are these, not uh, small sharks. Well, sharp. the, the tiger was 15 foot, about 800 pounds. And uh, the, the hammerheads, they're a little less, but not much less. Are you validating his stupidity, Alan? No. No, I, I would not. I'd probably have a heart attack in a cage if I was in a cage. Well, you yeah. know, uh, you learn about uh, the uh, sharks, and they're not the predators, killers that they're made out to be in the movies. Uh, no, they bite you. Well, yeah, yeah, but uh, they don't, that doesn't happen that often, is what he's saying. Well, I actually, in, in your I case, have, in your case, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you going to do on Tuesday? When you went they on that trip, we were all betting on you. We're, we're safe. They only You're betting on the public. sharks. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there there was a photographer in the background there. Yeah, Just, there is. You there can, hey, by the way, there is something on, there is something on HBO. <laughs> do you ever watch, do you ever watch uh, 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 real-time sport, or sports, real sports no. on HBO? No, Frank fake Dumb sports. Huh? Frank What's it called? Brian Gumble, yeah. Real Sports with Brian Gumble. Real Sports with Brian Gumble. Yeah. Good show. I mean, I'm not a big sports fan, but I watch that, and it's it always got interesting stories on it. And the story they ran this week was about these uh, back wood or back mountain. What's the term they were using? Skiers. Back mountain? No skiers. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's a sporting thing. Well, these yeah. are skiers. Yes, these are skiers <laughs> who who go on the you know the, the really far away the the backwoods to mm -hmm. ski down these huge mountains where they're just like it's amazing they're doing it all. But then what they do is they're going down. They accidentally kick things up a little bit and start avalanches. Yeah. And then they, they then they wonder why they suddenly had to be dug out from like you know a hundred pounds of some a thousand pounds of cement. Some people start those avalanches on purpose. They put dynamite no, in there. No, 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 but they didn't do that here. What happens is they come down. They show one guy he came down, hit an area. As he's coming down, you know, he's skiing down. He hits it, and you can see the ice just start to crack like crazy. Mm. I mean, it wasn't their banjo playing? Yeah. <laughs> and there's something like about... The oh, you got, you got it before tonight. I did. You got it before I did. You're on a roll tonight, aren't you, Gabby? <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, good. Deliverance, huh? That's right. Squeal like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ned Beatty, I, I'm surprised Ned Beatty didn't go kill himself after that show. Find it pretty there, it took boy. me 30 years to get to <laughs> That's right. You're looking really pretty there, boy. In a bizarre yet tragic accident, <laughs> Avalanche. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, well, we're having fun now, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> the numbers are back up to 42. What? <laughs> What is that? I'm gonna take what, my shirt off. What is that? That's a that's a Giants <laughs> game. 55. Is that a giant? Is that a Giants game in back of you? No, that was an A's oh. game. An A's game. A's game. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. not a sports yeah. fan, obviously. It was a good uh, good shot. <laughs> obviously. Uh, my the, the bat's breaking, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I caught it. I yeah. caught the ball in midair and the bat breaking. That was a long time ago. Uh, a couple. Of years. <laughs> yeah. Look at this uniform. That's Were you beautiful. um. Like media circa 1980. Hmm? Was that, are you were you a media photographer from where that your that cameras? That pictures? Uh, I was where the media was. Oh okay. Uh, I I had a good seat, oh, <laughs> and okay. uh, I was uh, uh, for uh, several years. I had uh, two seats and uh, for eight games a year in the uh, first base box, and I was in the first row on the uh, uh, right on the uh, field. Nice. By the way, and for a guy who's who, who lost thirty pounds so far, you're eating a lot tonight. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Ryan. You've just been <laughs> eating constantly. Eating what, what, what is that? The time I get to eat. What was? What's that you're having right now? This is just fruit in a cup with ice, and then I have an apple. You have an apple. Hey. Oh. Oh, you're splurging. That's what you do. That's how you lose weight. You start yeah. Eating remember, be, remember before I was eating Nutella? And, <laughs> yeah. and By the way, chef of the future, tell us how do you core a apple? <laughs> you get it right, <laughs> Charlie. Yeah. Let's go back. I don't to remember the bunch. Uh, I've heard the joke, but I can't remember what it is. What? The, the I just remember it's funny. Core <laughs> apple. German chocolate cake. Mm. Mm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that. Nice not on yeah, well, man. guess who's gonna lose weight off of what he's eating? Yeah. I'm not on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, and when the Warriors were in uh, the in Oakland, uh, I used to uh, be able to photograph the uh, the warmups, and uh, wow. sort of right down on the uh, right down on the court in the locker room. No, I didn't have locker room access, but I had uh, I had court access, you know, photo court access. Yeah. yeah. Bill uh, knew some people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If he had, he had a guy. Yeah. If yeah, he, I knew a guy. <laughs> Boy, my eyes are red tonight, aren't they? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> How can you tell? Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. I can put make these lights whiter. Time to, time to get your temperature checked. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. read he hasn't done that in weeks. <laughs> no, I took it today just for the hell of it because I was wondering if I... And it was like 97.5, you know, so. So how's everything in the uh, let's test people for COVID business, Brian? Is it... Doing good. 
Really? Yeah. In other words, you're you are... just uh, focusing on China right now. So we're uh, we're every night we have to go through them with them all the process and procedures and can't travel there. So yeah, so it's, it's you very know what hard. happened is Marjorie has people who work at her company, mm -hmm. you know, who go to would like to go to China, Beijing, and so on to do business, but if you go there. You cannot, and you've had a vaccination. They don't count your vaccination. You have to have one of theirs. I didn't think theirs worked. Or was it the Russians that didn't no, work? No, the Russians didn't work. But Russians. They, you have to have one of theirs, and then you have to be uh, sequestered for two weeks. Wow. Yeah. So it really, it's very hard to do business. It would be very hard for you to go over there and do what you yeah. got to do. And they have a thing called type testing, so we have to run some tests first, then we have to wait almost a year to get qualified. So we're just trying to get those first runs done with the engineer staff that's over there. So wow. uh, we're starting to do some live chats and all that stuff. So they're they're doing okay, but it's just painful. What, and what do you think? Uh, what do you think went on with the Wuhan uh, bi biology lab or whatever? Uh, well, didn't Fauci pay for that uh, ex experimental? Uh, Over what was it? Eight years, I think they spent eight hundred thousand dollars supporting it because they they were using it to trade information back and forth. That's what they were financing. I thought that was for hookers. Can you hear? Hey, yeah, do you hear crickets? Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, look I'm at everybody! They're laughing. Look, Jeff almost woke up. Yeah, uh, come on. <laughs> I got one of these then. What? This this is I don't have to prick my fingers anymore. So I can test. I got a sensor right here. I go like this and I can look and see my sugar is one eleven. One eleven. So is, I it have, a, is it a big prick or a little prick? A little prick. And there's no prick. Uh this this has been the greatest thing for diabetes. Mm -hmm. Do you use one of these, Charlie? Uh, no, I'm still pricking my fingers. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah this, this There's no been... fingers left, but he's still breaking his fingers. <laughs> no toes. It's his toes that are gone, not his fingers. Yeah. yeah. I got my fingers. Yeah. So you know this what week... I you know what I bought myself? What? I I haven't bought myself anything in a while. Bought Fever. myself my uh, a new GoPro. Oh, really? You have a seven. A seven has everything you need. Well, no, this one now, you know the old one. With the old one, you had to have a case around it in order to put it on a tripod. This yeah. thing has its own built-in things, okay? So, so that's why you had to buy it's it. It's a bigger really? screen, and it has also a screen on the front so you can do selfies with it. And it's also 5K. How often are you doing selfies? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter how often. It's, it's really, it's good. It's a vast improvement over... You know. Mine is special K. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Now you see, in order to, you, you have a uh, you have a holder for that, right? Right. So well, this this thing fits on my underwater uh, enclosure for my still camera, mm -hmm. and so I'm able to uh, take uh, still photos with a DSLR. Mm -hmm underwater and then i have this for just some video. oh so you oh you're yelling at me and you've got two of them a four huh? and then it goes to a seven i don't have four five six and seven no i had a i had a three a seven and a nine when you have that oh. i i feel in the straight <laughs> all I, odd numbers you're doing all the odds i fill in the straight this is a four so you <laughs> had three four five seven yeah, no, my, my four I took my four I took to Vietnam, I'm watching the beautiful sunset and everything, or no sunrise. It's at four a.m. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna go jump in the water. And I jumped in the water, and when I got up, I realized I had the wrong case on. I didn't have the waterproof case. No, uh, it, it still films, but I just can't view it. And I can film it. I can see it later. Yeah. But well, then, this... but then I got a seven because you got a seven, and you were talking about it on the show before I used to call in. Yeah. And so I got a seven. Yeah. I mean, I bought the seven like three years ago. So this this one's a, a vast improvement now. You know. I got an attachment on the back of this that gives you uh, the, the viewer, uh, because without the attachment, there's no viewing. There's no viewer. They didn't have a viewer on those initially, and they put that viewer you could put on the back. But the trouble with the viewer on the back was 
it used up too much battery power. This new one has a bigger battery that's good for about 90 minutes now. Yeah. And, and I have I have this one. What's that? A violin case? <laughs> dildo. <laughs> yeah, dildo. What is it's that? Got the balls on the end. <laughs> wait, no. wait, yep. what you know too much, Alan. You know too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a gimbal. Oh, one it's a gimbal. I have one of those. Uh, but, but I like walking in when I go on vacation and walk in with this and holding this. People think it's a gun. Yeah, I yeah. have I have the gimbal too, but you don't need it now. Yeah, exactly. You can, you can take this thing. Do you know what you can do with this new one? You can turn it upside down and it still keeps the horizon flat. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brian, can you use that gimbal for your iPhone? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so yeah. it's not a way. Oh, this, oh, 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 it, oh, yeah, okay. So that's that's a gimbal that was made for just a couple of different things, right? Yeah, it's big enough to work. Yeah. Because I have one oh, back here. Yeah. In back of the city here. Um, <laughs> boy, I, I, I. You feel you assume that everybody has an iPhone on the show. Yeah. I Obviously, Brian does. You do. I do. Alex does. Who else? I do. Uh, you no. don't have one, right, Kathleen? What do you have? Hell no. Kathleen no. doesn't even have cell service. She's in Gowala. <laughs> she, Gowala, Gowala. No, you don't have cell service up there, do you? I get it every once in a while, but I'm good with not getting it at all. The you know, the less people get a hold of me, the happier I am. <laughs> now, do you have you have you have internet service into your? Oh yeah. Phone? Well, yeah, I'm on your show. And you, you can use the what? <laughs> well, that's the stupidest question I've ever asked. Uh, when you said that, that was great. So, uh, very quick, good comeback, Kathleen. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> that was Boy, good. am I stupid. Oh, am I stupid? I think Alex ought to take a nap. Huh? I think it's time for you to take a nap. Uh, well, yeah. it, believe me, it's coming up very shortly here. I know that. You uh, should go get the GoPro, put it back in the box, and can do unboxing your GoPro for the last 10 minutes of the show. Yeah, well, I could put it back in the box, yeah. I could yeah, do get more unboxing. viewers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it took me for a while to get it going and everything. I had to get, I had to get my uh, I had to get my uh, uh, iPhone hooked up to it and so on. So that, ah, it that was good. Upgrade the. Why don't you? Why don't you, Kathleen? You... Wait a minute. Alex was talking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Who invited, who invited this guy anyhow? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know that broad. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. do the wireless. You can, you know, uh, have it on my on a selfie stick. Put it way up there yeah. for like the the cruises for Pebble Beach and stuff. And then you can view it through your phone. Yeah, you, while can, you're look, you, you, you can use it through your phone. You can also uh, put all your stuff on your phone and so on. And it's uh, yeah. pretty good. I mean, you know, when I first got it, I upgraded it. You had mm -hmm. to upgrade it, and it did it using the phone. Yeah. yeah. But Brian, when you when you photograph down on a person, it makes them look fatter. I have no, it wasn't on people. It's a, it's over the crowd. So I'm behind the crowd, like three rows back at Pebble Beach when they're coming the cars through, and I held it over, and everybody's looking up, and you see right over the car. It's really cool. Wow, John can't get you in the front row. No. Really? <laughs> Maybe this year. Boy, it is getting <laughs> hot in here. Wow. What are you talking about? Why is it so hot? I don't know why it's hot. Kathleen's internet's heating uh, up the room. Pebble Beach. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, as I was going to say about your internet, yes. so you can actually use your phone using the Wi-Fi. In yeah. other words, you can you oh, can yeah. make calls using the Wi-Fi. Yep, but I won't. <laughs> why? You know, why not? Wi-Fi phones suck. I have voice over IP at the store, mm -hmm. and I was down for about six hours uh, on Monday. Uh, it, it was just no, just but this a, isn't like this isn't like VoIP. What it is is you could actually use your iPhone on a Wi-Fi and make calls just like you would with your iPhone. That's right. You know, it's not using a VoIP system. Oh, that's I, right. I, in my old house, I had a uh, AT&T uh, spot where you would get cell signal 
because I was only getting like one bar mm -hmm. and it would get me four bars uh, uh, of, of uh, cellular mm -hmm. signal. Okay. Uh, Kevin, the other day I, uh, I was looking up these things that you said you had a mesh system in your house. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah they, they look good, but they're very expensive. What's, what's a mesh system? It, uh, you look it up. It's, it's just a different kind of system where it, you get a couple of repeaters around the house and it's supposedly oh. pretty strong, right? Uh, yeah, it just boosts up, boost up your Wi-Fi. Yeah. If you got dead spots and whatnot. Yeah. You plug them into your uh, outlets? It's, no, it's, an, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a router. A, it's a, and then it's it a router. It shoots it down to a satellite, and a satellite will bounce off that. And, yeah, and uh, send it to the rest of it. Yeah, two or three sat, depending on which you buy. Hmm. Yeah, and I thought about it for about a second and a half, but they're like, if you want to get a really good one, like with a Wi Fi 6 or something, it's like 600 bucks. Yeah, but you don't need that big. You, you only got 2,000 square feet, right? 2,500 square feet. Yeah, I got 1,800. I just bought the two. Oh, really? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it did fine. No, but this is Wi-Fi 6. You know what I'm talking about? It's a, it's a new standard. That's not yeah. the 5.1, 5 5.2, 5 whatever it is? No, no, no. You're, six you're six is not, not real popular yet. It's not really popular yet? <clears throat> what, what's the improvement on it? It's just... My, I don't know. Speed. Speed is the big deal. Speed is the big deal on it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. What's it called? Mesh? Mesh. Yeah, yeah. it's a mesh system, yeah. It just, I heard it just it's one step up your from... your signal uh, around the house, that's all. Apparently it's one step up from fishnet. <laughs> yeah, just about, yeah. <laughs> Stay down there, Kathleen. Yeah. Stay down there. Comedy store. <laughs> While you're down there, I've got something you can do. Uh... <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you could, man, you'd be very talented. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? That's a reach. <laughs> oh, boy. Time to say goodbye. We got about oh, a minute oh, and a half oh, left here. A couple more oh, minutes of misery. And today, my, my, today, on top of everything else, my hip is aching. Oh, my God. <laughs> Allergies. Getting old just fucking sucks. Yeah. Hey, you're not supposed to let the old man in. Oh, really? What? The, what is that? Not that again? Is that what the sign said? Oh, yeah. yeah it, it says not, not yeah. that again. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, now you're, that, that, now that, you're that, yep. You're as bad. I, I, I have all the same problems, Alex. So, And I'm a little younger. No, like it's just right. My hip right here has been hurting all day. I don't know why. Yeah. You know. What the hell? Oh. You know. Alex, <laughs> tomorrow I go to the neurologist. That's my big day for tomorrow. I went to the Hello. dentist today. You know. Why are you um, going there? Well, why am I going there? Because it's my he. I haven't seen him in six months. Ah, uh, you know. Are you gonna go uh, see, remember before you wanted to go see your eye doctor for your bags? Yeah. You said, yeah. Well, my no. It's the lids actually have lids. to be done. The lids. It would help probably with the allergies and allergies. Stuff, yeah. But, but not. Yeah. It's not the only problem that's causing me. You know, the allergies are caused by just the fact that my eyes are very sensitive to the palm. Listen to my voice. I'm hoarse from this yeah. uh, from this uh, whole thing. Eh, what the hell? Anyway, oh, there's the theme. There's oh, one. how nice. How nice is the theme to play? <laughs> hey, by the way, glad, Phil, you stuck around. See, See how easy and much fun it was? Yeah, I won't do it to you again. Trust me. <laughs> you know. We'll get you to do it again. Uh, sure. Charlie, good seeing you again. Uh, uh, Alan, thank you. Thank you to uh, Jeff for being with us tonight. Kathleen, thank you. You're so you're still you're the funny one of the funniest people I know. Uh, Brian, terrific having you here and watching you eat all your healthy foods. <laughs> And John Larkin, eat apples or great oranges. having you here. And of course, uh, Kevin, always a pleasure to have you here. Would everybody give a, a big wave goodbye? And I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Here we go. There they go, folks. Oh, that's the wrong one. Excuse me, folks. I, I changed all these buttons. And I, I changed all the buttons. And they're in a different order. And I went for the one that I used to think was this camera. I'm getting too old for this, okay? 
Anyway, stay tuned for uh, Jack Bishop. He's next with The Intersection. I'll be back again tomorrow night. We've got a sports show on at 8.30 with the franchise MC, and then I'll see you at 10.30, same time, same station in the life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And by the way, get vaccinated. If not, wear a mask. But always be safe out there. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.